Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, um, I'm sitting in kind of a weird space. You're probably thinking, why have I not got over you are? Hello, Alfie. He can't hear, I'm on mute. <laughs> oh, Alfie, hello. Okay, so as you can see, I'm in kind of a different spot right now, but I kind of like this spot, so I'm going to stay here. Um, so for today's video, I'm doing show a picture of. So a lot of people wanted to see this because they've seen like other people do, like Emily Cannon done it. I think Casey done it a few days ago, Erin done it, and um, Erin Bauer. So there's quite a few people that have done this, and I wanted to hop into the trend because I think it's kind of a fun trend. I will insert a picture of where I got this hoodie from as I know people are going to ask because my TikTok comments are full of it right now. So here is a picture of the uh, Instagram account that I got this hoodie from. So thank you for sending this to me. Okay, right. So let's just get on to the video. I've already stocked up on the questions because I thought if I... Hang on. If I don't get like ready now, then I'm just going to have to like freeway and it's just way too long and I can't be able to sit here for an hour doing it. So let's go to albums. Let's go up. So here we go, here is some of the questions. So first off, we have first day of secondary, primary and infant school. So here is a picture of me when I went into primary school. So when I was in reception. I don't have a picture of me from infant. So here is just a picture of me when I was in primary school on my first day. And then here's a picture of me in secondary school on year seven, first day. Um, I was a proper weirdo and I thought it would be really cool if I had like a um, red bag. Don't ask, it's not a good look on me. But yeah, I thought I would look really different and people know who I was if I wore a red bag to school. So I wore a red bag. Then here I've just basically, because I haven't got a picture of me when I started preschool. Here's a picture of me, I think this was year three or four. Um, but here's a picture of me in year four, I think it was. I don't know, it could be year three, four, five. I have no idea. Your proudest moment. Um, definitely when I hit one million. That's like surreal to think. Like I literally, I, I knew like when I was on that 999K, it felt like I already hit a million. It's kind of a weird feeling um, because it doesn't shock you as much because when you know you're about to hit it, it's like you've already hit it to your brain. Um, but yeah, definitely one of my proudest moments. I just remember I was so happy and I was just like running around my house in Spain. I was just having the best time of my life. Um, so yeah, probably when I hit one million and also when I came out with my giveaway, I got so much love from this giveaway. I got to meet the girl that actually won the giveaway after. So it was a really good giveaway and kind of because I hit 100k, which is a massive achievement of mine. I never, ever, ever, when I started this, I never thought I would hit one mil on TikTok and 100k on Instagram. Like that is the most surreal thing to me because I've always been, well, I've grown up watching these influencers like Casey Franklin, like the Buy House. I've watched all of these influencers and to think I'm literally where they are now is just really surreal to me. I don't really know how to say it without sounding like cringe, but um, like I used to go to like Witsy and places like that and I used to see these influencers that I'm now friends with and ask them for a picture, which is really awkward, but it's okay. Um, so yeah, definitely hitting 50k, no, definitely hitting 100k and 1 million on TikTok. You at your happiest. I've got to say this is a video, but I'm gonna say it's show picture video of. Um, this was me in Spain. It's a really awful video of me, but I was so happy on my birthday. I literally had the best day of my life. Like, um, I don't know, I just thought it was really, really fun. And like, I just had a really, really good day. So I was probably happiest on my birthday in Spain this year. Well, not really just my birthday, but like in general, summer this year, which is like the best time of my life, I think. Even though it was in a pandemic, it was probably the best summer I've had in a long, long time. So you are your lowest. Um, so this was, <laughs> I'll let me drop. Um, this was 11th of November, no, 18th of November, this, or well, last year, 2020. Um, I think through November or December, I was quite down in the dumps. Um, I had quite a lot of stuff going on, personal life, so it was kind of a lot to handle and I just remember I was like crying a lot and I had a lot of bad emotional like stuff going on that I just didn't really want to talk about. But yeah, I went through quite a lot then. So here's a lovely picture of me crying. Your friend group at school. So a lot of people get confused on who is actually my friend group. This is the oldest picture, but basically we have no updated ones without people that aren't really in our group anymore. So here is a picture of us in year seven when we was first like forming our friendship group. Um, this is Tilly, Jess and Violet. So 
they have literally stuck by me since the start of year seven i remember me jess and tilly we started off as a group in like the first week of year seven and then violet came in after because we saw violet and we was like oh she's pretty she's nice so then we added violet in like december time just from around her birthday i remember and me and violet went to like some swimming place together and we just like bonded so quickly so i'd say definitely like um seeing like violet and tilly and jess like we all just clash no not clash that's a bad word we all like get along so well that it's just easy to talk to them and i mean like when we're together we just have the best time okay my fave outfit definitely this one i have another outfit that i love but i can't find any pictures of me wearing it or in the outfit but this outfit is so nice i love it i literally just adore it so it's got my air sorry it's got my jordan ones in my jeans from nasty girl my jordan ones my plt top and a plt jacket that i absolutely love so that's definitely my favorite outfit when you found out you had covid so i'm going to show you this picture first so this was literally the like the time i found out so it's the 22nd of december 2020 this is just ignore my parents story name um but i found out i had covid and this was me tested positive covid then now i'm going to insert a video from about 10 minutes later me crying my eyes out because i really didn't want to have covid um so yeah that's interesting first time fake tan in i'm going to insert a quick clip of me when i had fake tan on at my party in year seven yeah, this was when I was, like, just before that, I was in another group of friends, and, well, I just saw fake time because it was my birthday party, and it was kind of, like, the only party anyone ever had in year seven, and it was in August, so, no, it was July. So, in July, I had the first party of year seven, like, no one else had a party before. Um, I don't know why, because most people say that they had parties all through year seven, but we never, because people didn't even know each other that well, so, yeah, that was me. With my fake tan on and um, look a bit orange but it was quite nice fake tan to be fair i didn't go over the top i kind of went in with like the gradual tans first and now i wear like proper tan you and your dad so i'm going to show you this picture of me and my dad um people seem to think still that i don't have a dad this is my dad i love him so much and like um but he's the biggest one but i still love him so much so yeah this is my dad he still lives with us he's still with my mum like he's he's my sister's dad's as well as mine like we're all family to blood like we're not half sisters or half brothers well no that wouldn't be right because we haven't got a brother but you know what i mean so yeah this is my dad um so yeah so i must put before you was famous i would never class myself as famous but i would say before i had a following um i'm gonna insert this video please ignore me but this is just me in like year eight i think this was it this was year eight as you can see i look an absolute weirdo but i I didn't really know what I was doing with myself. Like, I didn't have anything to follow or like, I didn't really have anything that I really loved. And now I kind of feel like social media is what I really love. So I have something to actually look up for. But then I was just an absolute weirdo. Like, I don't know what I was doing in that video, but there we go. A really funny day, I would have to say, when I went out with Harry in India. I think that's probably like the highlight of my whole year. Um, I had the best time. And I just remember, when I have sleepovers, I'm normally knackered, but I was so hyper that whole weekend. Like, I've literally never been so hyper in my life. Um, we got along so well, because we, me and India never met Harriet before, so it was kind of like, ooh it's gonna be awkward it was not awkward at all like harriet is so like us so we all got along so well and like i just remember we was always dancing we was always singing we just had a really good time and we was jumping in the pool and like it was just really good you in primary school so i'm gonna insert this picture here i'm gonna blur out the other girls faces as i don't think they'll really appreciate me putting them on here but um yeah that's me in primary school I don't know if you can see that much, so I'm going to set another picture here. This was me when I first joined my new school. So basically, I joined my school in year six, as I went to a private school before that, and I hated it. So my sister moved, so I moved as well. Um, but she went to a sixth form, I went to another primary school for the last year. So I went to this school, and I got along so well with all the kids, it was really nice. And on the first... I would say, I would say in the first two weeks, um, they'd done like a... I'm not going to say the name, but say the name was Berry. Berry got talent. So my school name got talent. And I remember I heard about it and I was like, I want to go for that. So i done a dance and it was the most awful dance I've ever done in my life. But I won with it. So I literally joined the school and done a dance in front of all the parents, all of the kids in every single year. And I won. So, boom. 
you know, kind of interesting. You and Violet. Here's a picture of me and Violet. Um, this was us after a dance that we'd done in school because me and her used to do dance club. It was the awfulest thing ever. But yeah, it was um, interesting times. You with your boyfriend. So many people want to see Alf. So this is a picture that we both find really funny. So here's a picture of us. Um, I don't even know why we find it so funny. But yeah. There's a picture of us. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. I had to go to the toilet. So, you without makeup or a filter. So, personally, this is me with literally nothing on. Okay, I have eyelashes on, but they was um, eyelash extensions, but that's me with literally back camera flash. Um, no makeup, no filter was on that. But, yeah, other than eyelashes. But I don't know if you cast that as makeup because it's actually, like, stuck into my eyes. So, it wasn't really makeup, but... Um, if you class that as that, then, yeah, I don't know what else to say. But, yeah, that's literally me with no filter, no makeup on. Um, so, yeah. You're at your first dance competition. So, here is the most awkward picture of me ever. I hate it. I'm like, it's just so cringe. Um, but I was a very cringe child. Like, if I showed you some of the videos, I, and I will at the end. Um, <laughs> I'm just going to say that. Okay, and then we got this picture. Um, this is, like all over my house, my parents loved it, don't know why, I actually couldn't even point my feet properly, I had the biggest feet ever. You sleeping, so, here is one from last night, so this was me asleep on the sofa at 5pm as that, and I woke up at 9, half 9, so, that was me on the sofa, and here's another picture Tilly sent me, of me asleep, um, when I was round Tilly's house with Jess and Tilly, and it was literally only 8pm, and I was asleep. When you were born. So here is a picture of my mum holding me when I was born. So basically, my mum had a home birth. So if you don't know what that is, basically the midwives come to our house and had me. Well, they didn't have me. My mum had me and the midwives came to our house instead of my mum going to the hospital. As my auntie had two home births and she said it was so easy. So when my mum was about to give birth, she basically stayed at home and gave birth in their old bed. That old house, which... That's why I love that house so much, but we've moved now, so. She was gorgeous, to be fair. She just gave birth, like, cute. And then, basically, sometimes when you have your baby in hospital, you can't actually see them for a while. Well, then my mum could literally take me home straight away because we were at home. So, it was really good. You on your last day of year six. Oh, dear. Okay, here's a picture of me on my last day of year six. As you can see, it's absolutely disgusting. I don't know why I look like that, but there it is, so... Yeah, you as a baby. I have so many baby pictures to show you guys. Here's one of me as a proper baby, and then I'm going to show you one of me when I was, like, a bit older. So here's me in my dance exam. I look so cute. <laughs> and then here's another one of me when I look like an icon. To be fair, it's my favourite picture of me, so, you know. A picture you can't explain. Alright, I'm going to show you this one. This is an awful picture of me. I sent it to a group chat and was like, guys, do you think I look good in this? And all my friends said no. Um, so yeah, it's just a really funny story behind it and everyone still uses it now against me, so. Okay, thank you so, so much for watching this video. Make sure to like, comment and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. If you do have any video suggestions, let me know in the comments and I'll definitely do some of them. And yeah, that is the end of this video. Thank you again and I'll see you in the next video. Have a nice... I don't know when this is going out, but have a nice week or weekend, wherever it is, and have a nice night. Um, I know it's really hard at the moment, but try to stay positive, and if you ever need anyone, I'm always here on my Insta DM, so make sure to follow all my social media. Um, so yeah, go follow me if you haven't already. Bye!